we got us another big boy this is a 200 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery from the folks over at Lipoles. let's open this up and take a look at it All right, we got your basic uh, polystyrene foam packaging and a couple of brochures here with a nice shiny finish. Uh, an advertisement of their other stuff, basically. And a nice card that has all the information you need to know about the battery. So that's nice to hit and easy to have on hand. And you got your battery in a plastic case with more styrofoam in a plastic case plastic bag more styrofoam we got our terminal bolts here oh the terminal there's terminal bolts on this already plus an extra set go ahead and get this out All right, there we go. I'm gonna quickly pause this video for a moment and ask you to subscribe to the YouTube channel. So go ahead and click that subscribe button and the like button as well while you're at it. Then ring that notification bell to get, to get notifications. I'd really appreciate it. Now let's get back to it. So this is a 12.8 volt, 200 amp hour plus. And what that plus means is that it has a 200 amp BMS, which is nice. That's what you wanna see in a 200 amp hour battery. So this is from a company called Lipos and it's 2560 watt hours. We got your website address here, contact information for the uh, company and the official name of the, the company here. You got your certification stuff, your recycle, don't light it on fire and don't throw it in the trash. You got your uh, do not eat this silica gel in here. There's a big sticker on the top here, 28 volt, 200 amp hour plus. And uh, nothing in the back. Yeah, and that's, that's it. So somewhere I lost the, it had protective covers over the two terminals. There's two of the terminals that are installed in shipping. And then they give you a couple of additional terminals as well. So we'll go over this card here. All right, so it's a little bit difficult to get uh, footage of this card here because there's this pearlescent finish in the uh, in the paper and it's kind of reflecting for the camera. So we've got nominal voltage, 12.8 volts, nominal capacity, 200 amp hours, capacity at 40 amps, 300 minutes, energy, 2560 watt hours, resistance, less than 10 milliohms, self-discharge, uh, less than 3% a month, so you can't just leave these around uh, sitting there. With, they're going to discharge a little bit as they go. They're prismatic cells. The weight on this is 52.9 pounds, 24 kilograms, and M8 bolts. Recommended charge current 40 amps. Maximum charge current 200 amps. Recommended charge voltage 14.6 volts. BMS cutoff voltage. Uh, Huh? It cuts off if it's less than 14.6. Uh, I don't know. That doesn't. That's not right. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Um, oh, it's if it goes over 14. No, it says less than 14.6 volts. Yeah, this is a printer error of some sort. Uh, maximum batteries in connection: four parallel and four series. So the maximum continuous discharge current is a 200 amps, which is why you're getting a plus. Uh, BMS discharge cutoff current, 450 amps, plus or minus 20 amps for 31 milliseconds. So it, that's going to cut off pretty quick. Okay, so your BMS discharge cutoff voltage is 10 volts. Uh, short circuit protection, 200 to 600. 
and then there's this here I don't have my glasses on so I can't even read this it's a fine print so you can pause this and read that if you like and some other stuff here and uh, service card and whatnot all right so let's go ahead and get this on the charger get it charged up and then we'll do a capacity test and then we'll go over the, those results and give you my final thoughts on this battery all right let's go ahead and get this capacity test started here let's get this off the uh, battery charger and uh, we're gonna go ahead and do like we usually do and hook this up to transfer the power from this to my big power station over here which pulls about 480 to 500 watts now again we've set this to 205 amp hours to see how much uh, if any we can go over the 200 amp hours Left the city behind Headed to Concho Gonna find my peace of mind Found a little piece of heaven Where the desert meets the sky In my tiny home Where the stars come alive Ooh, yeah No more hustle and bustle No more sin In my tiny home Where freedom can be Alright, so we got all the way through our test here And we got the full 205 amp hours that I had set on the meter And it just happened to be my uh, inverter started complaining about it right as we hit that 205 amp hours i probably maybe could have squeezed a little tiny bit more out of it but it was already starting to yell at me and usually only have a couple of minutes after that before it shuts down so 205 amp hours out of a 200 amp hour battery that's exceedingly passing the test now my channel is designed more to help beginners and try to make solar easy and more accessible and not get into the really deep technical stuff. I'm gonna leave that kind of stuff to other channels for the most part. Once in a while I may do that and tear into a battery, but I'm not, I don't wanna make the habit out of that. But what I do do is I don't just make these videos, I watch them all the time too. So I've watched plenty of other videos on this battery being torn apart and it's got good guts in it. Um, it, this is Lipols is a brand that's an up-and-coming brand. It's not a real obscure one like there are a lot of those. This is a an up-and-coming quality brand that's focused on quality components, and uh, I, I'm I'm not a, afraid to recommend the battery like I would be maybe some other really bizarre ones. Those are the ones that I may tear apart in the future if I haven't already seen a video that's done that, then that is something I will do. But without that, I see no sense in sort of destroying a battery that I can make perfectly good use out of uh, just for the sake of showing it when somebody's already done that. And if you wanna know some of those people that I watch, feel free to go to my channel homepage down at the very bottom. I have a list of the, some of the other YouTubers that I follow that do do that sort of thing because I personally like to watch those kind of videos uh, I don't really particularly want to create them um, And I want to keep it simple. I want to make and just show products in the real world and practical uses In addition to doing the actual battery reviews So in the future you'll see more videos coming out from me using all of these products that I'm doing reviews on in real world scenarios and uh, 
showing what the results are, whether it's cooking or running a refrigerator or something like that. That's the future plans of this channel. So that wraps it up. I think this is a great battery. Oh, I wanted to talk about one other thing. Uh, with a 200 amp BMS, uh, that's going to allow you to run a 2000, possibly even 2500 watt inverter. So if you're only going to use one battery, you want to make sure, and you're going to use over 2000 or 2000 watts, then you want to have a 200 amp hour BMS. They do make these in a 100 amp hour BMS, and those would be okay if you were stacking multiple batteries up and you had a high wattage inverter. A uh, 100 amp hour BMS, I wouldn't use much more than a 1000 watt maybe 1500 watt inverter for a short periods of time but for a con sustained uh amperage draw you want to get the biggest bms that you can and again if you're running in parallel you'll double double the amperage capacity of the battery so if i added another one of these batteries for i'd have 400 amp hours and 400 amp BMS. And then I could run a 3000 to 4000 watt inverter, no problem. I'll leave a link right here for some of my other battery review videos if you wanna go through this playlist and compare this to some of the others. And if you wanna see my latest video, check out right here and you can take a look at my latest video. That's it for this video and I'll see you in the next one.